Hello everyone, I welcome all of you to the India Metrological Department Weekly Weather Discussion. Myself Dr. R. Lawland. As on today 24th October 2024, let's see the weekly brief. We know that the severe cyclonic storm has formed as a, named as a Dana and it is uh, currently over the north west bay of bengal and it is moved north west word with a speed of 13 km per hour during past six hours and lay centered at 1730 ist of today 24th october over the same region near latitude 19.8 and then uh, longitude of 87.5 east about 100 km southeast of paradeep and 130 km of south southeast of damara and 210 km south of Sagar Island. It is very likely to move north northwestward and cross North Odisha and West Bengal coast between Puri and Sagar Island close to the Bitter Kanika and Damara during midnight of 24th October to morning of 25th October 2024 as a severe cyclonic storm with a wind speed of 100 to 110 km per hour gusting to 120 km per hour and this is these uh, major synaptic conditions during 17th to 24th October 2024 which is shown in this figure the both the Bay of Bengal and Arabian Seas was much active on 17th October the depression crossed over the Tamil Nadu and South uh, Andhra Pradesh coast during 18th to 19th October a cyclonic circulation was there also a well marked low pressure area was over the Arabian Sea was seen and 20 to 22nd October the low pressure area was over the Arabian Sea was persist and 19 to 24 the low was formed over the Bay of Bengal and then intensified into depression then further intensified into cyclonic storm as a Dana and then currently now uh, severe cyclonic storm Dana is likely to cross over the Odisha and West Bengal on night hours of 24th October to early morning so 25th October. Also, as on today, the cyclonic circulation lies over the Arabian Sea. And let's see the day wise uh, synaptic condition. As on 17th October, the depression over the west central and adjoining Bay of Bengal was crossed. Tamil Nadu, North Tamil Nadu, and then South Andhra Pradesh coast between Puducherry and Nellore, close to the north of Chennai, near latitude of 13.5 and longitude of 80. Point two east around 430 hours of 17th October. Subsequently, it weakened into a well marked low pressure area and then lay center of the south coastal Andhra Pradesh and adjoining North Tamil Nadu at 530 hours of 17th October and then further it was weakened into a low pressure area. On the day, a forecast was issued with the following statement a fresh upper air cyclonic circulation very likely to form over the north and the Mansi around 20th october under influence a low pressure area likely to form over the central bay of bengal around 22nd october and thereafter it is likely to move north westward and then intensify further which is the current uh, severe cyclonic storm named as dana which was is uh, forecast was issued on 17th itself again on 18th october the cyclonic circulation was lies over the east central arabian sea under under its influence a low pressure area was formed over the same region and between 19th to 20th the low pressure area over the east central arabian sea lay as a well marked low pressure area over the east central and adjoining west central arabian sea on 19th october and the move and it moved west northwest forward and weakened into a low pressure area during the 20th to 21st october on 21st october the track for the forecast track for the uh, cyclonic storm the severe cyclonic storm dana was issued the low pressure area was formed over the east central bay of bengal and adjoining north and the Mansi on 21st october it is very likely to move uh, west northwest forward and intensify into depression by 22nd october morning and then into a cyclonic storm by 23rd october over the east central bay of bengal thereafter it is very likely to move northwestward and then reach northwest bay of bengal off odisha and west bengal coast by 24th october again on 22nd the track was updated the low pressure area over the east central bay of bengal and adjoining north andaman sea intensified into a depression over the east central bay of bengal at 5:30 hours of 22nd october also a trough was running from the above uh, cyclonic system to the south Tamil Nadu coast in the lower tropospheric level. Uh, on 23rd October, the depression was moved west northwestward with a speed of 13 km per hour and then intensified into a cyclonic storm as a Dana or the east central bay of Bengal. As on today, 24th October, the severe cyclonic storm Dana over the west northwest bay of Bengal moved in north northwestward with a speed of 13 km per hour during past six hours, lay centered at 
सेवेंटीन थर्टी आई एस टी ऑफ टूडे ट्वेंटी फोर्थ अक्टोबर ओवर द सेम रीजन नियर लैटिट्यूड ऑफ नाइनटीन पॉइंट एट एंड लॉन्गिट्यूड ऑफ एटी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव अबाउट हंड्रेड किलोमीटर साउथ ईस्ट ऑफ पैरादीप हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी किलोमीटर साउथ साउथ ईस्ट ऑफ दमारा एंड टू हंड्रेड एंड किलोमीटर ऑफ साउथ ऑफ सागर आईलैंड एंड इट इज़ वेरी लाइकली टू मूव नॉर्थ नॉर्थ वेस्ट वर्ल्ड एंड क्रॉस नॉर्थ ओडिशा एंड वेस्ट बंगाल कोस्ट बिटवीन पुरी एंड सागर आईलैंड क्लोज टू दी बिटरकानिका एंड दमारा ड्यूरिंग मिड नाइट ऑफ ट्वेंटी फोर्थ टू मॉर्निंग आवर्स ऑफ ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ अक्टूबर एज अ सीवियर सैक्लॉनिक स्ट्रॉम विद स्विंड स्पीड ऑफ हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड एंड टेन किलोमीटर पर आवर गस्टिंग टू हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी किलोमीटर पर आवर आसो ये साइक्लॉनिक्स अपर एयर साइक्लॉनिक सर्कुलेशन लाइस ओवर दि साउथ ईस्ट अरेबियन सी एंड अडॉइनिंग लक्षदीप एरिया एंड एक्सटेंड अप टू मिड ट्रोपोस्पेक्टल लेवल एस ऑन टूडे एंड दिस इज द अब्सर्व रेनफॉल फ्रॉम सेवेंटीन टू ट्वेंटी थर्ड अक्टोबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर वेरी टू वेरी हेवी रेनफॉल अट ऐसोलेटेड प्लेसेस ओवर रायल सीमा रिसीव अप टू फोर्टीन सेंटीमीटर ऑन सेवेंटीन अक्टोबर एंड साउथ इंडियर कर्नाटक रिसीव अप टू फिफ्टीन सेंटीमीटर ऑन एटीन अक्टोबर ओडिशा रिसीव सेवेंटीन सेंटीमीटर एंड तमिलनाडु रिसीव फोर्टीन सेंटीमीटर ऑन नाइनटीन अक्टोबर एंड तेलंगाना रिसीव ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर ऑन ट्वेंटी and tamil nadu received up to 15 cm and saurashtra and kutch received 12 cm on 21st south indian karnataka received up to 13 cm on 22nd there was no heavy rainfall re- recorded on 23rd and uh, as on today kerala received up to uh, 12 cm and then tamil nadu received up to 12 cm each and this is the uh, subdivision wise rainfall distribution uh, during the uh, last week 17 to 23rd october as seen in the left side panel the dark blue color shows the large excess rainfall received over the uh, west coast of the country also the uh, large deficient rainfall is res- observed over the north india which is shown in the yellow color and then deficient rainfall received over the uh, odisha coast jharkhand west bengal nmmt region and uh, west M- east mp also the west east rajasthan which is shown in the red color also over the kerala deficient rainfall and normal rainfall received over the tamil nadu and then telangana also over the jharkhand region and then west rajasthan and right hand side figure shows the uh, observed rainfall from 1st october to 23rd october as a north uh, northeast monsoon activity here also we can see that a large excess rainfall which is shown in the dark blue color over the west coast of the india Uh, which is shown in the blue color and the normal rainfall which is shown in the green color over the coastal andhra pradesh and then kerala also the vidarbha and then uh, marathwada region and uh, deficient which is shown in the red color over the telangana west rajasthan and then east madhya pradesh and then west bengal as well as the jharkhand area along the nmmt also and deficient large deficient which is shown in the yellow color over the north uh, north india as well as the odisha and then chhattisgarh region and this is the extended range forecast for the next two weeks rainfall during the first week that is 21st october to 31st october rainfall is very likely to be above normal rainfall over the likely over the gangetic west bengal and some parts of north east india kerala and below normal rainfall Uh, is likely over karnataka telangana rayal sima and coastal andhra pradesh and during week 2 that is 31st october to 7th november rainfall is likely to be above normal rainfall likely over the karnataka and madhya maharashtra telangana gangetic west bengal active northeast monsoon activity would be very uh, seen over the southern peninsula of india with the rainfall activity however rainfall would be below normal during the first week and the near to the normal during the second week as the severe cyclonic storm also uh, the landfall would be started so we can see that the first two weeks also the uh, higher rainfall activity over the odisha region as well as the jharkhand region and this is the uh, maximum temperature for the next two weeks during the week 1 Uh, the maximum rainfall is above normal over the northwest india and chatisgarh and week 2 that is valid for the 31st october to 7th november maximum temperature is above normal over the northwest india and east india also over the north east india so there will be no reduction of maximum temperature over the northwest india during the next two weeks and this is for the minimum temperature forecast during week 1 that is uh, 24 to 31st october it is very above normal over the northwest india east india and north east india the minimum temperature is below normal over the south india and many parts of central india during week 2 31st october to 7th november 
the minimum temperature is above normal over the most of the India so there will be no rapid fall in the temperature especially over the minimum temperature over the northwest India during next week and this is the extended range outlook for the cyclogenesis as there is a likelihood of development of fresh cyclonic circulation over the north Andaman Sea and adjoining east central Bay of Bengal towards end of the week too and there is no fresh cyclogenesis likely both the basins of the Bay of Bengal and Arabian Sea during next two weeks as the final concluding like the severe cyclonic storm Dana is very likely to move north northwestward and across north Odisha and west Bengal coast between Puri and Sagar Island close to the Bitter Kanika and Damara during midnight of 24th to morning hours of 25th October 2024 as a Severe cyclonic storm with a wind speed of 100 to 110 km per hour gusting to 120 km per hour. Stay tuned. Thank you.